So Jenny, what did you find most interesting in, in the survey? I think one of the things I found really interesting was that um, out of the 3,000 families interviewed, over half of them felt that they didn't spend enough quality time. And it probably got me thinking about what are they thinking quality time is. And there's this tension between wanting to sort of help provide, you know, resources for the families, for their children, and at the same time knowing that they're being tugged by their children for more one-on-one -on -one time. Were you surprised at, at how little quality time some parents spent? Because there was one figure about uh, parents spending only six minutes with their kids. I've heard that re some research before that gave me an idea that that isn't unusual, but that six minutes here, yeah, that is a little bit scary. Um, there's not a lot you can get communicated through in six minutes to a child because they're, they're looking for uh, your availability. They want some eye contact and some playtime and downtime and they like you just watching them and seeing what they're doing and you can't do that very well in six minutes. Mums or dads on their own uh, are often under that tension where time and money are in short supply and children can do better when they know that you would love to spend more time with them. I think we should tell our children that. We should say, I wish that I was um, home for you. But I think some families would need to reevaluate, and I would nudge them towards, is it worth having the, the extra things that you have and the price you pay to have them when your children in a way you're not enjoying your children and they're not enjoying the atmosphere at home because there's this tension. So I think, you know, I, sometimes it is time to think, is, um, is less better? One of the survey results said that one in five families actually don't want to spend time together. So what do kids actually want from their mum and dad? No, I think that's a, a little bit, because I think in the research it looked at that, you know, Lots of children do, 66% do. I don't think children are all that good at um, being able to communicate or articulate that they want to spend time. And as they get older and their peer group becomes more important, they gravitate towards that or they gravitate towards technology. And what we read as they're happy is they're not making any fuss. They're not bothering us, um, but they are slowly isolating themselves from us. And as they become more and more isolated and we're less connected to them, parenting is harder. So it serves us well to keep our children coming back to do family things, even if you get that, oh no, not a board <laughs> game. You know, we've got to kind of break through that uh, resistance and just be ahead of them and yeah, keep them in our arena and not too much in the arena that they'd like to spend all their time in. Jenny, thank you very much.